We actually don't know for certain that everyone sees the same colors in exactly the same way. What we do know is that people respond to colors in consistent and predictable patterns. This suggests that our color experiences are functionally similar, even if the inner experience may differ. Color begins as light of different wavelengths entering the eye. The human retina contains three main types of cone cells, each sensitive to different ranges of wavelengths, roughly corresponding to red, green, and blue. When light hits these cones, they send signals to the brain. The brain processes the combined information and produces the perception we call color. Because most humans have the same cone types and similar neural wiring, we assume color perception is broadly shared. However, color is not a property of objects themselves. It's a mental experience created by the brain. An apple reflects certain wavelengths of light, but redness exists only in perception. This leads to the famous philosophical question, does my red look the same as your red? There's no direct way to compare subjective experiences, so this can't be tested directly. What we can test is behavior. People consistently agree on color matching, naming, and discrimination. We stop at the same traffic lights, sort colors the same way, and notice the same differences between shades. This suggests that even if our inner experiences differ, the relationships between colors are preserved across individuals. There are known exceptions. People with color vision deficiencies perceive colors differently, and this can be measured through tests. Some rare individuals have tetrachromacy, meaning they may perceive a wider range of colors than most people. These differences show that color perception can vary, but also confirm that for most people, it follows a shared biological framework. Language also plays a role. Different cultures divide and name colors differently, yet people can still reliably identify and compare colors across languages. This suggests that perception comes first and labels come second. In the end, we can't prove that people see colors identically. What we know is that human vision is structured in such a way that our experiences align closely enough to function as if we do. Color may be subjective, but it's a shared subjectivity shaped by common biology and behavior.